Our main sponsor for the iPhone 6 coverage is sellcashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you a quick quote and the most cash for your iPhone. So go ahead and check them out. It's simple, fast, and secure. What is up you guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource and I am here to do a complete comparison between the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 5S. Ever since the release of the iPhone 4, people have been asking for a bigger screen and now that the 6 and 6 Plus have been released, we will be comparing them to its predecessor, the iPhone 5S. So with that said, let's start off by looking at the specs of both phones. So the iPhone 6 has an A8 chip running on a dual core 1.7 GHz processor with 1 GB of RAM. The iPhone 5S has an A7 chip running on a dual core 1.3 GHz processor also with 1 GB of RAM. You can pick up the iPhone 6 in the space gray, white or gold and it's only available in either 16, 64 or 128 GB of storage space. The iPhone 5S on the other hand is available in 16, 32 and 64 GB with the same color options. When it comes to battery life, the iPhone 6 has a 1810 milliamp battery and the iPhone 5S has a 1560 milliamp battery, but what the hell does all that mean? Well, according to Apple, the iPhone 6 has 14 hours talk time, 10 hours for internet use on LTE and 11 hours on Wi-Fi, as well as 11 hours of video playback and up to 50 hours of audio playback. The 5S can last up to 10 hours of talk time, 10 hours of internet use on LTE or Wi-Fi, 10 hours of video playback, and up to 40 hours of audio playback. Apple finally made the jump to bigger screen phones, something that a lot of people have been wanting ever since the release of the iPhone 4. Well, with the iPhone 6, people got what they wanted, a larger screen to work with iPhone 6 has a 4.7 Retina IPS display with a resolution of 1334 by 750 and that is a pixel per inch count of 326. The iPhone 5S on the other hand has a 4 inch IPS display with a resolution of 1136 by 640 with the same PPI as the 6. It may not look like a big difference on paper but it is really noticeable when holding it in your hand. With someone who has large hands like myself, I can definitely use the phone one-handed, although I do need to tilt the phone just a little to access the top for notifications. I can't quite reach it comfortably. Even though I'm right-handed, I prefer to use my phones with my left hand instead, which is pretty weird actually, and this kind of annoys me a little bit when accessing the power button, since I do have to reposition my hand in order to access it. People that use their right hand won't have any problems since it comes naturally. However, people with tiny hands may need to do a little more work to access the top and maybe even the side button. The viewing angle is also amazing. No matter how you view the screen, it will always be the same. Now, this can be a good thing or a bad thing. The good thing is that if you want to show a video to your friends, they can all gather around and get the same experience no matter where they stand. Bad thing is you have to be careful what you're watching in public since people can easily see your screen. So what about speakers? It doesn't look like Apple has improved their speakers, but we still wanted to test them out and hear how well it sounds on the new iPhone 6 compared to the iPhone 5S. So here's a quick demo on maximum volume. It stands 12 feet tall with razor sharp claws. His hide littered with the weapons of fallen warriors. His face scarred with one dead eye. I do my sword. Chomp! Dad's leg was clean off. Oh, that's my favorite part. <laughs> In accordance with our laws, the firstborn of each of the great leaders must prove their worth. A lady enjoys elegant oh. pursuits. I present my only son. He took out a whole armada single-handedly. He was Apple is notorious for having thin smartphones, the iPhone 6 is no exception. It's thinner than the iPhone 5S coming in at 6.9 millimeters, whereas the iPhone 5S is measured at 7.6 millimeters. Now in terms of design, the iPhone 6 has a more circular design. It feels really smooth and it's rounded on the edges making it natural to hold. However, it does make the phone more slippery compared to the flat edge of the iPhone 5S which is much easier to hold onto. 
A few things that have been changed from the 5S are the side volume buttons, they are no longer circular. And the home button from the top has been moved to the right side because of the bigger screen. Also on the right side, Apple kept the same SIM tray. On the bottom of the phones, you will find the headphone port, lightning connector, microphone, and the speakers. On the front of the phones, you will find the front-facing camera, the speaker grill, and the phone sensors. As always with the new iteration of the iPhone, there has to be a better camera, but how much of a difference is it really? Well, we actually did a complete comparison comparing the picture and video quality of both phones that you can check out here in case you missed it, but on with the comparison. The iPhone 6 has a new 8 megapixel eyesight camera with an aperture of 2.2. Unlike the 6 Plus that has optical image stabilization, the 6 remains at digital. The 5S also has an 8 megapixel camera with the same aperture and both can shoot in different speeds of slow motion. The front facing cameras haven't changed much at all, they are both sitting at 1.2 megapixel with 720p video recording. Taking a look at the camera interface, you can see pretty much the same layout. One thing I absolutely love about the iPhone is that all the options are on the screen and you don't have to enter a different menu to change the settings. So starting from the top, we have the panoramic feature. Moving down, we have the square mode, which basically shoots the image in a perfect square, kind of self-explanatory there. We also have regular photos, video mode, slow motion, and time-lapse. Depending on what mode you are on, there will be additional options to the left of the screen, like swapping to the front-facing camera, adding a timer for your photos, selecting HDR, and enabling or disabling the flash. Also above the capture button, there is a filter that you can use to kind of change up the theme of your pictures if you choose to. Here are just a few samples that we took from our 6 versus 5S camera comparison. And like I said, if you want to watch the whole thing, I will leave a link in the description section down below. Well, that pretty much concludes the comparison between the iPhone 6 and the 5S. The question that everyone is thinking, is it worth the upgrade from a previous iPhone? Well, if you've been waiting for a bigger screen since the iPhone 4 and if your phone is too small for you, then I would definitely say yes. The screen alone would have been enough for me to upgrade, but the fact that the iPhone 6 now has Apple Pay made the decision really easy for me. However, if you have an Android phone and are thinking about switching, the answer isn't that easy and it involves a lot of factors. I would suggest you to consider all the factors before switching. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, please leave a like or a dislike as it does help the channel a lot. And if you want to see another comparison done, let me know which two phones you want to see in the next video in the comment section down below and I will add them to the list. This is Ed from TechSource and I will see you next time. So before I go, I wanted to share an awesome website with you guys. Sellcashier.com is a site where you can sell your iPhone for the highest dollar amount. Sellcashier only purchases iPhones and they currently operate in the United States. They do accept all the iPhones listed on this page. Simply visit their website, get a quote, ship your iPhone and get paid. It's simple, fast and most importantly secure. You can either have them send you a check or get paid directly through PayPal. Here is a list of their current prices and you can compare it to their competitors. So if you have an iPhone that you want to sell, don't go anywhere else because Cell Cashier will pay you the most. This is Ed from TechSource and I will see you next time.